What's up guys, my name is Ace and today I'm going to be doing an in-depth breakdown of the flak jacket perk in Black Ops 2. I'll be showing you guys the kill radius of every non-score streak explosive without flak jacket first, and then I'll compare it to my results with flak jacket equipped. One thing to keep in mind with this is it assumes that you have full health at the time that the equipment is used, so if you're damaged even just a little bit then it'll definitely affect these results. Alright, so let's start it off with the grenade launcher. If the grenade detonates anywhere within that red circle, you will die if you don't have flak jacket on. One really interesting thing that I found with this is that even a direct impact that explodes will not kill you if you have flak jacket. Having said this, if you are close enough to be direct impacted without the grenade exploding, you will die even with flak jacket equipped. Moving on to the SMA and RPG, it seems like they have the exact same explosive characteristics, and as you can see there, if you don't have flak jacket on, a rocket anywhere within that kill radius will kill you. With flak jacket equipped, the only way a SMA or RPG can kill you when you're at 100% health is with a direct impact. Moving on to the crossbow, as you can see, the kill radius is extremely small, even without flak jacket, so it's not really that effective unless you actually stick somebody with it, but that is the uh, kill radius without flak jacket. And the results with flak jacket aren't really that surprising. The only way that you'll kill somebody with a crossbow if they have flak jacket equipped is with a direct impact. So you have to actually stick them with the bolt. Moving on to the bouncing Betty. This will be sort of a refresher for anybody that uh, has already seen my bouncing Betty versus Claymore video. But as you can see, the kill radius is actually quite large without flak jacket. With flak jacket, a bouncing Betty won't even kill you if you're standing right on top of it. So there's no way that a Bouncing Betty can kill you if you have Flak Jacket and 100% health. Moving on to Claymores, once again this will just be a refresher for a lot of you. There's the kill radius as you can see there, it's in a conical shape, and this is the kill radius without Flak Jacket equipped. And with Flak Jacket, once again, you will not be killed at any range as long as you have 100% health. So moving on to the Semtex, as you can see the kill radius is actually quite decent without Flak Jacket equipped. And if you do have flak jacket, the only way that a Semtex will kill you at 100% health is if they stick you with the Semtex. So it has to be a direct impact. So for the frag and C4, as you can see, as far as I could tell, they have the exact same kill radius without flak jacket. And that kill radius is just a little bit bigger than the Semtex without flak jacket. And one really interesting thing to point out with both of these is that they will not kill you unless they hit you first and do a little bit of damage by hitting you. So you have to actually hit somebody with flak jacket and then have the explosion go off really close to them and really shortly after so they don't have time to regenerate that health. So that covers just how effective flak jacket is when dealing with enemy explosives. In many cases the only way the enemy can kill a flak jacket user with explosives is by damaging him in some way first. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time.